to Gideon Levy to close the case for the proposition. Hear, hear. First time in my entire life that I don't belong to the opposition. And this says something. Every, almost everything was said already, all the lies, all the propaganda, and also some truth. But I think that it's time to put an end to the masquerade. And the masquerade is going on now for at least 50 years. And the masquerade contains two assumptions which both are a pure lie. A, that Israel has intention to go for the two-state solution. Israel never had an intention to go for the two-state solution, not even for a single moment. It is really almost historical irony to see now official representatives of Israel coming and defending the two-state solution. What did stop you for 50 years to go for it? Why did you go for it? What are you waiting for? Why didn't you go for it? And if, it's, if this is not enough, anyone who builds one terrace in the occupied territories has no intention to go for the two-state solution, period. And there was not one single Israeli government who stopped for one day building those criminal settlements. And that's the best proof. And all the rest is a masquerade. Now the second lie is that the one state doesn't exist. Ladies and gentlemen, the one state exists now for 50 years. The only question is what kind of state is it? Is it a democracy or is it an apartheid state? That's the only question which is still open. Those who established the settlements project declared it very clearly. We are going to build settlements in order to prevent the two-state solution. The state of Israel always supported this project. Officially, unofficially, by money, by political support, by military support. Israel, entire Israel, not only the settlers, is part of the settlement project. And the settlement project has one goal to prevent the two-state solution. That's the only goal of the settlement project. And obviously also some kind of real estate uh, 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 interests. <laughs> Nothing more than this. So to claim today that Israel is in favor of the two-state solution, and to claim today that that's the only solution, I was a great supporter of the two-state solution for decades. Many of your arguments here were my arguments for decades. By the way, in those years, you were perceived as a traitor to be in support of the two-state solution. All those who speak now about two-state solution 20 years ago say the two-state solution is Auschwitz borders. Now, when the two-state solution is impossible, then they come up because they know that it will never happen.